Dang, it's cold out here. Snowing here at the Proving Grounds. I got a buddy in Eastern Kansas sent me a picture with snow all over the land. And Daniel's got a buddy in Northern Missouri turkey hunting this morning. Had snow all over him. The ground's white. <laughs> Obviously, it's odd for mid to late April. And that has a lot more impacts than just being uncomfortable out turkey hunting. Standing by a white oak, and this time of year, they're making flowers. Now, a lot of people don't know that oaks, red and white, make flowers. This is a white oak, and these are the male flowers, and the female flowers are much smaller little nodules, and that's what will turn into acorns. The pollen will blow off the male flowers, get into female flowers, and turn into acorns. And it's supposed to be 27 here tonight, much colder up north. It's gonna rain and snow. These are gonna freeze and get damaged and it's gonna greatly reduce acorn production. So I know right now that if I can find a tree this fall, a white oak that made acorn somehow, that's gonna be a hot spot. That's gonna be what I call a feed tree. Here's something else we need to know now, both red and the white oaks, that's two groups, not two species of trees, but two groups of trees. They both make flowers, but there's a difference. White oaks make flowers every year and if the pollinate, if the female flower pollinates, that will be an acorn that year. But on red oaks, they will make flowers and pollinate, but that female flower that's becoming an acorn, it won't become an acorn until the following year. So this freeze we're gonna experience tonight will impact white oak acorn production this fall and red oak acorn production next fall. Knowing the weather conditions and the forecast for a pretty wide swath of the Whitetails range, if you find a white oak this fall that produced a lot of acorns, that's gonna be a feed tree. That's gonna be a great stand or blind location. And in mountain country, like here in the Ozark Mountains, of course, cold air settles to the valley. It's gonna be colder in the valley, maybe by 10 degrees or so. There's not gonna be any white oaks in the valleys this fall, folks, I promise you. It's gonna be, you know, if it's gonna be 27 here, it's gonna be 17 or so in the valley. There's not gonna be any oaks make acorns. White oaks this year, red oaks next year. Further north where it's even colder, not much of an acorn crop. So that you can use that for your scouting and it's a big impetus to have great food plots because there's not gonna be a lot of acorns on the ground this fall.